Welcome to a realm where scientific boundaries blur and the line between life and death becomes fluid. In this captivating journey, we explore cryonics, a process that holds the promise of defying mortality and embarking on an extraordinary quest for eternal life. Is it possible to undergo cryogenic freezing with the expectation of being revived and brought back to life several decades or even a century later? Cryonics, also known as cryogenic freezing, is an intricate and delicate procedure that involves preserving human bodies at ultra-low temperatures. It springs from the profound belief that life's essence persists beyond the declaration of legal death, continuing until the delicate structure of the brain and its invaluable information face irreversible disruption. The core principle of cryonics, often termed information-theoretic death, challenges the very concept of mortality. It posits that as long as the intricate tapestry of our consciousness remains intact, those pronounced legally dead harbor the potential for revival through cryonic preservation. The path towards cryonic preservation commences with the swift cooling of the body immediately after legal death is pronounced. This rapid cooling process serves a vital purpose, preserving brain function and protecting the delicate cellular structures from irreversible decay. Following the initial cooling, a cryoprotectant solution akin to a cellular shield is introduced. This solution, often referred to as vitrification, acts as a guardian against the formation of ice crystals that could inflict irreparable harm to the cells. It ensures the preservation of cellular integrity during the subsequent stages. Once the body has undergone vitrification, it is gradually cooled to an astonishing temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius. This process plunges the body into a state of suspended animation, wherein cryonic chambers filled with liquid nitrogen serve as custodians, carefully preserving the body's tissues and the intricate architecture of the brain. The road to successful cryonic preservation is fraught with hurdles, particularly in the realm of revival. While scientists have achieved some success in reviving simple organisms and certain mammalian tissues post-cryopreservation, the revival of an entire human body with complete restoration of brain function remains beyond the boundaries of our current scientific capabilities. Moreover, the complexities of biology, consciousness, and identity add yet another layer of intrigue and uncertainty. The intricate interplay between these elements remains a mystery, leaving open questions about the revival of an individual's memories, personality, and sense of self. Cryonics extends beyond the realm of science and delves into the realms of ethics and society. Critics raise valid concerns about resource allocation, suggesting that the investment in cryonics could be better directed towards enhancing current medical care and prolonging healthy lifespans. The potential strain on resources and concerns about overpopulation also require thoughtful examination. Furthermore, the impact on mental health cannot be overlooked. How would individuals psychologically cope with awakening decades or even centuries later, surrounded by unfamiliar environments and people? The potential disorientation and loss may outweigh the benefits of extended life. In the hypothetical scenario where future societies undertake the responsibility of reviving cryopreserved individuals, profound questions arise. What legal rights and social responsibilities would these revived individuals possess? These questions challenge our traditional understanding of life, death and societal structures, necessitating extensive contemplation before cryonics can attain mainstream acceptance. Yet, amidst the challenges and criticisms, the field of cryonics perseveres, pushing the boundaries of science and fueling hope for triumph over mortality. The allure of conquering death and unraveling the mysteries of life propels us forward. As we venture further into the 21st century, debates and discussions surrounding cryonics will undoubtedly intensify. The coming decades will serve as a crucible, testing the scientific validity and societal acceptance of cryonic preservation. For now, cryogenic freezing stands as a testament to human innovation, our relentless pursuit of knowledge, and our unyielding desire to transcend the limitations of mortality. It represents a captivating intersection of science, ethics, and our evolving understanding of life and death. As we ponder the enigma of cryonics, we find ourselves at a crossroads between skepticism and hope, uncertainty and possibility. Cryonic freezing serves as a leap of faith, an embodiment of our yearning for a future where science catches up with our aspirations for immortality. Only time will unfold whether cryonics shall become the gateway to an extraordinary future.